Okay, so we've mentioned guided procedures a few times already, and I'm um, hoping you got a, a fairly good ballpark idea that these are basically necessary um, steps that you have to walk through to enable that certain functionality to be performed. Now, again, we have three of them to do, and, and you'll see that if you take the, I um, encourage you to take a look at the um, Soul Man setup course. So you'll see to set up those three pillars um, that are necessary, and they use guided procedures. Of course, as we now go to the next enablement, Managed System does the same thing. They use guided procedures, and again, they're just step-by-step, -step, uh, allowing you to, again, to be you know, successful, which I just mentioned earlier. Uh, and then after you do a, a complete, they are like a way to, to do a fast, if it's a step by step to configure a particular item. So it's easy to keep track of the task and which ones are open. So again, if, if you start on a Monday and, you know, only get to so far, then you can see how far you got to Tuesday. Or if you're working with a colleague, you can stop and actually you can rerun also some of these steps. It's um, sometimes necessary that you have to go back and rerun some of the steps. So uh, the quick tagline down here is after completing the baseline configuration and connecting managed system, you now have a sense of a guided procedure. So once you walk through those, you've obviously got pretty comfortable with it. And again, if you have not um, been responsible for that part and you are responsible for early watch setup, you'll understand guided procedures and how necessary they are for us to be successful in enabling. Okay, so we've talked about guided procedures quite a bit already through uh, some of the slides. And a tagline is that they are there that you're going to be successful. They're taking you step by step, making it easier, almost, if you will, jump starting you um, to make sure that you are implementing what you need to to be successful to configure that particular piece of function. I mentioned um, in a previous slide or two that in the uh, course that we have out there called uh, Solution Manager um, Setup, it, it shows you the guided procedures that are necessary for all three of setting up those pillars. The fourth pillar is obviously managed systems. So if you've gone through those, you have a really good idea about guided procedures. If you have not, then the good news is, is you're going to be seeing that as part of you to be able to enable early watch, you have to use guided procedures, and they are a good thing. Again, they're a fast step by step configuration, a solution manager to, again, to make it easy for you, and it's also to help you keep track. So you can stop and get two or three of these done on a Monday, and you come back on, on Tuesday, you can pick it up. Um, secondly, it does logging, so it shows you who is executing that or have done that particular step or sub-step. And then lastly, um, you can rerun these steps. So in a kind of procedure, you can rerun them. So we'll show you how to use these. And then the requirements are a lot of times when you go in, the first step is always an overview. I encourage you to kind of take a step minute or take a look at that and review. Then the second step is usually making sure that you, all of your requirements of what you need to move forward, it does a check for you. So it's a nice way to say, okay, I know I've got everything into place. And if I don't, then I know I need to go back and correct that. Then usually after that step three and beyond, it allows you to start the enablement. Uh, as part of um, successfully getting through a kind of procedure, then you know you have the, the function should be enabled and ready to go. In this case, we're looking to make sure that we can enable the early watch uh, reports. Mm -hmm.